oh, let me be, let me be so risque about it. Let me try at least. You know, it's, uh, I'm, I'm not picking anyone in, like celebrities per se, but it's very controversial to actually, you know, uh, I don't want to say be right, but it is a lot of times. It's very controversial, especially in, in the limelight. And, you know, you say something that may be controversial, but it's the truth. You know, because nobody wants to lose their their little star power, their, their, unless it benefits them. And it's and it's cool to stand up for, like, some people. And then these celebrities and a lot of other people, they just go overboard, especially celebrities. Because, you know, they'll get attention out of that stuff. You know, it's like, what will people do for attention? And where I'm going with this, uh, there is a guy, a YouTuber named Boheme. You know, Ben Golan is his real name. He's from Alabama. I don't know if he li he resides in Alabama uh, uh, this minute, you know, presently. I don't know if he moved about, but he's obese. He always was, even in his early 20s. And it's like, people say, oh, you shouldn't say that about him. Just, you know, you know going for a walk. So maybe trying to eat healthier, but especially going for a walk, getting an exercise. Because what? It's, it, it's, it's, it's hurtful. It's painful. It's the truth. You know, I was obese. I understood it. I understood that I was obese. I was aware of it. And there's nothing wrong with telling somebody, in a way, you know, maybe you should get some exercise to lose that weight. You know, it doesn't look good on you, and it's unhealthy. And I don't care if there's pe there's chicks that like fat guys, because there are. Great, you know, I maybe I'll like a, a plumpier chick nonetheless, but that fat is disgusting. It's unhealthy, uh, for starters, and it, it, it's gross. It really is. It's that's not how we are built. I mean, imagine if you know, if I mean, let's look at the the earthbound uh, uh, setting as it is. Let's say you have to. Uh, I'm driving past some trees. You have to chop some lumber. It's winter to throw in the fireplace. You got to move around. That obesity is gonna catch up. You start wheezing after a while. You know, it's extra fat, extra weight, and plus it's uh, you know, it, it, uh, I'm beyond using the word unhealthy, but. You know, uh, you're out of shape, so you're not used to doing that. <laughs> a guy, let's say a lumberjack, is just so used to using his body, he's usually fit. So he'll survive. Let's look at the survival thing. And what would you use that obese person for if you have to do physical labor or, like, you know, mild physical labor? You know, let's work in a shop somewhere, this and the other thing, which is all right. There's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, it's, it's a matter of health and just survival, basically. And also, uh, you know, it's... It's just, it, it, I feel like it's emasculating to a certain degree, you know? Like, that kind of BC is just not masculine at all to a certain extent. It's not It's not that cute. It's not gorgeous, you know? So, what is the point? What I mean, what is the point? What is the problem just fucking admitting that? And, you know, yeah, I, I get it if I was, you know, if I, I could be condescending to him like that if I was angry. But it's the fucking reality. It's the truth. There's nothing to shy from and, if you look at the history of the United States of America and, let's say, physical education, I saw a video uh, on YouTube, and, you know, they were saying that it was around, it was around the war, and they just, you know, they had to, like, they had to, uh, they had to have these tests for, for kids, and they had to actually teach them uh, a better physical education, because, you know, a lot of them were obese, and when, when there was World War One, you know, the American just, the, they were getting shot, they were killed off, they weren't, they were unfit. That man and woman, and predominantly men, because the women weren't in the, uh, in the uh, let's say, in the military uh, on the field, but they just couldn't keep up, you know, and they were stagnant, and you know that's one of the reasons why you know uh, the gym in the United States is the way it is. I still don't think it's all that great. I don't know. I went to private school, so I don't remember being all that great. It was actually very horrible where I went to. We just played and kicked and all that stuff, but. Uh, you know, to teach uh, kids how to stretch and actually enforce it maybe once a day for like half an hour is not a bad idea, you know? And to instill that in a young mind so when they, they get obese or when they just don't feel good and, you know, you, you educate them, well, you know, uh, physical education, physical uh, uh, physical movement is very important for you, this and the other thing. Also, uh, a healthy diet to teach uh, you know, the veg what kind of uh, nutrients are in, in what? You know, it's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with telling people, well, you know, you need to walk more, buddy. You need to eat healthier. You need to, I don't know, get a physical job or something. But 
A lot of times that won't save your eyes. I know people that have physical jobs and they get over, they're overweight. You know, it's about a certain kind of movement, certain kind of exercise. Uh, it really is important, and I'm not gonna, you know, not say it. if if I was like in a in a place of power, celebrity status, I'm not not gonna say because it's it, it is painful. Like fuck you with your feelings. It's not even that you just don't want people to get obsessed, so people don't see a movie or people don't kiss your ass, or maybe just a pansy to a certain level. Where you just keep it to yourself, and that's a lot of problems. We just people just keep the truth to themselves. You know, you can't be that ignorant and stupid. Some people are. You know, you can't be that ignorant and stupid, you know? So, it's like, I have no problem with telling you about that. I don't go around picking on obese people or, like, a dickhead. But, you know, when the truth comes to uh, to light, I will tell you that. And, you know, it's... If you're hateful because you're obese, I don't know, geez. Uh, you know, try a little harder. It, I'm not going to say it's easy. It's not. But, you know, a, a diet, uh, a healthy diet, like oats and uh, certain products, and a lot of water does help. 